Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, man. Let's go fishing. Beautiful morning right here. Man, this is one of the best looking days I've seen in a long time. And we haven't been offshore fishing in a long time. So I'm super excited. Good morning. Everything working? <laughs> I don't think the uh, trunk plotters, when the engine's off, are working. Might have bad batteries. Ah, uh, gotcha. Or a bad battery. Gotcha. Okay. So, it, will that affect us, you think? The or? only time it'll affect us is if we're stopped. We won't be able to, we'll have to start the engine to look down. Oh, there. yeah, okay, gotcha. But you see, like, they're starting, because they're running off the engine. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's a that's a good bait right there. That is a big old cigar minnow. Great bait. We stopped right here in Pensacola Pass just to try to grab a few baits real quick. Lots and lots of boat traffic out today. Everybody's going fishing. Y'all check out what Brian just caught on a sabiki rig right here. A beautiful squid. That is cool, man. We're definitely going to keep him. <laughs> Got him. That didn't take long. Oh, he came off. One of them came off. I think I got another one on there. Yep. Oh, my gosh. We got a little squirrel fish, a little sand perch. Sand perch have been all in my videos here lately. In every video, I've got filming catching sand perch or filming sand perch. There we go. Got a couple of them, I believe. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, I had three or four, but I'll take two. <laughs> we got a few baits and uh, we're gonna head out about 25, 30 miles. We'll catch up with you as soon as we find something cool. We're just checking grass mats right now we just ran across this little grass mat right here just seeing if they have any fish on it and uh it's always good to stop on this kind of stuff i don't see any fish on it but that doesn't mean they're not something nearby yeah oh Oh, Lee, there we go. <laughs> oh, Brian, that was a good splash right there. Look at them on top. Get a, uh, look, see them blowing up on the grass right there? Yep. What is that? Oh my gosh, man. Are you on? You're on with the Bonita. We need to, we That's need. A big Bonita. Yeah. I was a drag and I said good on this. We need to uh, watch that grass right there because there was something like almost like maybe big triple tails on it. Oh, look at there, look at there. Look at there, amberjacks are trying to eat them. Are we over some kind of a structure? Look at this, look at this. Watch this, I'm pulling, I'm gonna pull him up. Watch the AJs coming up with him. Look at those big ambers under the boat. Look at them. That is cool. We must be over structure, man. That is strange. Okay. Look at him. There's Amber Jacks. Look at him. Oh, he's chasing my Bonita. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is wild. These guys are so much fun on light tackle. We stopped on that little grass patch and I hooked a Bonita and then a bunch of Amber Jack came up. So there must be some structure nearby, so we're gonna turn on the sonar and look. That's what, I, that's what I was talking about earlier. What is that? Oh, are you on? That's gotta be a Bonita. Really? Let's see, oh yeah, but look, look what's, oh look, big Almacos, that's what it is. Look at all the big Almacos with, oh, there he is. I got one of them. You, you do too, Brian. That's an Almaco? You've got a Almaco. 
Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh. Nice Almaco Jack. They're all over these weed lines and this grass and structure out here. Great to eat, and you can keep those. Where'd they go? I don't know. They were right in that area. Is that oh, the... look, look over there? Oh no, they're on. They're on you. They're on you. They came right up to the boat. They're definitely de definitely down here. There he is. Got him right under the boat. <laughs> that is cool. Oh man. It's crazy what you can run across out here. These are nice ones too. Is he by himself? No, he's got a ton of them with him. Right underneath us, Brian. Big, big ambers too. Oh, look, look, you're all, oh, you got an AJ. <laughs> that's okay. We'll sit here and catch these. Another nice Almaco right here. Check it out, that is a keeper. We've come up on some sort of structure out here that we didn't know was here. Ooh, that was right behind us. They're right behind us now. There he is, there's a fish, got him, got him. They're all nice ones too. Oh man. Come on, it's crazy. We got him chasing him up. Oh, he came off, he came off. He came off, that's okay. Drop my jig back down. They're all over it, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> oh man. Brian, if we could, can you drop the trolling motor real quick? Sure. Let's just stay right here, if you can. See if anything else comes up. I'll sit here and chum. <laughs> Get him in the boat. We're gonna drop the trolling motor and chum these guys up. We're piling up the Almaco jacks right now. Check this out. So we anchored on this spot that we never knew existed before. We just found it, and I've got chum right here, and we're just tossing chum out. Yeah, and we're just kind of trying to get these fish into a feeding frenzy. Watch this, I'm gonna chunk a bait out, this little, whoop, this little sand perch, and let's see what happens. Uh, he lasted two seconds. <laughs> he lasted literally two seconds. There he is, got him. <laughs> oh man, watch what I bring him up. Look how many AJs come up. I mean, monster AJs too. Look at that guy right there. Oh, oh, he's trying to eat it. He's trying to eat it. Holy cow. God, that is wild. This spot is the, uh, this is the AJ spot right here. Now this is an Almaco Jack that I've got on. And I might get in trouble by doing this, but I'm gonna throw a popper <laughs> just to see. Ugh. You never know. Ah. Uh. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. He came off. No, he's about, he's on it. He's on it. <laughs> uh, they are loving the popper. <laughs> Did you get that, Brian? Yeah. That was cool. First cast. <laughs> Woo! I wish it would have been as big as that. I know. But it was still good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. <clears throat> we have found this. We found an AJ gold mine. Okay, and it was luck that we found it. We stopped on a grass mat and there just happened to be a bottom spot below and it's got the most AJs on it I've seen in a long time. And there's some massive ones. You would need big giant live hardtails to catch the massive ones. But I'm good without catching a massive one, really. Uh, and then he told me it was a grouper and he had me to drive. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, a little bit bigger one. Really cool top water blow up. We're gonna release him. I'm gonna try a little jig in here. Check out that vermilion Brian just caught. That is a fine one. And that's what's down here. This is a phenomenal vermilion spot. But I'm just trying to see if there's anything bigger down there. I've got a big jig on. There he is. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. First fish on the jig come on kind of now acting maybe like a grouper species right in there. I think it's a grouper Brian it sure is. it's not it's very smooth on that no one. I think it's definite grouper species of some sort super smooth there he is I see color if it's a foul hooked vermilion I'm gonna be mad, and that's exactly what it is. Thought it was a grouper, and it's a giant vermilion that is foul hooked. <laughs> and I had this guy foul hooked, and that's why he was fighting so hard. Nonetheless, we'll take him. So there's a bunch of uh, keeper Almaco jacks right here, but we're trying to, and we're trying to drop a little jig down to catch them because they're coming up, but there's a lot of giant amber jacks coming up with them. And so I'm trying to keep the jig away from the amber jacks. Oh, look at that amber jack. He's chasing it. Oh, no. That's crazy. I think that's an amber jack. I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah. That's an AJ. Oh, man. Look at him. Oh, Brian, you got an AJ. You got the you got the one that I had just seen. You think he can, I can swing him? Not with this pole, but with Oh, I got him. I got him. There we go. I got him. Uh, oh my gosh. Reach back and grab his neck. I was trying to get a uh oh oh he came off. Dang on it. Okay, good. Oh I got another one on. Uh God. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm trying to catch an Almaco because there's a bunch of Almacos down there. Oh, man, look at all the fish. That's crazy. It's funny how they're eating this glass minnow. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I was saying when I went out with those kids. Look at this, guys. Look at how many jacks are under the boat. This is why. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, that ain't a jack. What was it? That's a tank. Yeah. I can't believe I got him up on the light tackle. Little light tackle AJ right here. These guys are out of season. Oh, it is? Oh, look at the giant AJ coming after him. It's crazy how many fish are here right now. Look at that. Oh, he's chasing him. He's chasing him. Look at the AJ. He's chasing the Bonita. Oh, I don't want him to hit mine. Oh, that's a big one, huh? Oh, that's a couple big ones. That's a real big one. Yeah. Yeah, you hit that one. You hit that one right there. It's over. It's hard to pick. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> man. I guess he's wondering what he's eating. You know he's not trying to eat that. Uh, the... I'm trying to pick out an Almaco out of all of these amber jacks and I just can't do what it. Is that? what is that? That's an Elmico. There we go. There we go. There's there's one. Got him. Oh my gosh. He came off. Dang it. That was and that was a perfect run. Oh no. Is that him? No. It's so funny. Oh gosh, he ate it. I didn't want him to, but he did. <laughs> Hey, I did not mean for him to eat it, but he did. Oh, well. ah, dog, that's crazy. Trying to light tackle some Almacos here, and I keep getting hammered by the AJs. 
I think there, I mean, there's Almacos here, but there's just more Amberjacks than Almacos. I dropped it way down. You're about to be on right now. You're on. Here we go. There is a crazy amount of fish here. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. All right, y'all, piece of squid right here. About to catch a, a big keeper fish that is in season. Probably gonna be on as soon as it hits the bottom. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, that's a decent. That's a pretty good fish. If it's not a red snapper, trying to catch a big trigger because it is trigger fish season. And I think I've got a trigger on. That is a nice trigger. Come on. Whoo, he's back bigger than I thought he was. I'll give him that. Whoo, all right. It's a keeper trigger fish right here in the state of Florida. Unfortunately, we can only keep two today. And so that's number one, one drop, one trigger. Another trigger fish rig going down, little piece of squid, light leader. And I'm just dropping it down about 50 foot, something like that. As far as table fare is concerned, you cannot beat a trigger fish. They are phenomenal. I wish, I wish we could keep 10 of them. Probably gonna get a bite immediately, yep. He may already be on. I can't tell, he may have got my bait. Yep. Yep, he's biting it. They are so finicky the way they hit. They're, it's almost like sheep's head fishing. Check out the trigger fish that Brian just caught. This is an absolute tank right here. <laughs> Piece of cut bonita going down right here. Cut bonita is a great bait out here. Can you catch anything, mangroves, lane snappers, whatever. We cannot keep red snappers. All right, we're down. All right, let's see if we get hit. Oh, there's the bite. Come on. Come on. He's biting it. Oh, he may be on there. Oh, yeah, he's on there. There we go. That's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's, that's the one I'm after right here. I can go ahead and tell you. Oh, don't get me in the rocks. Don't get me in the structure. Please don't get me in the structure. Oh yeah, come on up here. There we go, there we go. Let me show y'all this fish. Check out that mangrove snapper right there. That is awesome. There we go. Since I know these mangroves are down there, I'm gonna take a big live bait right here. This is a herring. I'm gonna put one of these big herring down and see yep, if we can get a bigger one. We'll see if that first mangrove was a fluke. Fifty. On that one. Your leader for your hook. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't playing games. All right, down there, we're going to stick it in the rod holder. Oh, dude, is this one getting bit? Hold on. Oh, yep, yeah, we're on, we're on. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this one's fighting crazy. Holy cow. He's going nuts. Come on. Uh, it's coming up. I don't know what we got. Feels like an Almaco. 
Oh no. Wow. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> Look at the size of that mangrove right there. <laughs> On the live bait. That is a stud. All right. See when we catch a mahi, we're just easing through the broken grass, looking for uh, any kind of movement, bait fish, predatory fish. Using a little glass minnow, just because there's a bunch of big patches up here, Brian. Okay. Let's run up there. They're, they're moving. Where, where'd they go? Right there. Oh, got him, got him. There he is. Got him. Yeah, decent. Woo, nice. <laughs> that was cool. There's another one with him, Brian. There's two more. That was cool. Here's a little trick. I always keep him around the boat, but that's a nice one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the boat. <laughs> They're right in front of you, right there, a little to your right, a little to your right. Check it out, y'all. Came up on a little uh, weed line here, and there was a few few decent little mahi on it. That's gonna make a uh, that's gonna make a taco right here. There's so much grass out here today. Not a lot of fish on them, but we are you know seeing some ones and twos, but no no school. Yeah. Stop right here. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, it's a mahi. He's staying down. It's not a big one. Nice. That's decent. Yeah. It's funny. We saw him come up out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> Look what a beautiful fish right there, guys. These are so pretty. Love catching them. Let's get back after another one. Pretty decent little fish. Yeah. Brian's got him a mahi coming up Fine. right here. Pretty little mahi. There oh, we go. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Man, by them, every one of them just about has been by themselves today, which is so unique. Like you usually see them in schools. This is the, uh, oh, putting on a shot. This is the biggest grass patch we've seen yet. It is massive. Oh, I'm on two. I'm on two. <laughs> nice. I just told Brian this grass mat is so big that if we don't catch a mahi, we're going home. That's a little guy. We're going to release him. I'm going to take a live bait on this grass mat here and just kind of drift it out the back because it's such a big mat that there could be, gotta be something big around it. They're not eating very well. They've been messed with. Oh, come on, come on, got him. Oh, lost him. There's multiple around the boat right here. It's cool. Ah, I didn't want you, that gummit. I got an Almaco Jack. <laughs> We've caught enough Almacos today. The Mahi are not overly aggressive like they've already been messed with. There you go, Brian. You're on. There you go. I got him. <laughs> oh! Hey, yeah, yeah, he came off. Right here, look. Right in front. We just made it back in the bayou. That was a fun uh, 
eventful morning out there on the water we got a nice mixed bag there's the final haul folks that's what we kept we're going to divide that between me and brian's family and uh, we're going to take them up clean them up right now now when i'm cleaning these smaller mahi like this i like to make a cut and then just go right down the side super easy effective way to uh, to clean the small ones like this uh, and then I just take the uh, meat right off the skin and, and the small ones taste great I love making fish tacos out of these guys and that is exactly what we're gonna do in this video and I do the same thing on the back side I've got a Dexter Russell 8 inch fillet knife and uh, it just cuts right through it super easy effective way to clean these guys. And look at all that row in there. Should have taken that home and fried it up. I actually like fish row, by the way. I don't know what it is about mahi, but for some reason, they're one of my favorite fish to catch. Now, we're going to take these guys home right now and make my favorite fish tacos. I want to show you this spread right here, okay? We have kind of prepped our fish. That is our mahi-mahi, and we have got all kind of ingredients right there. Because we are going to do my favorite fish taco recipe, and we have a very special guest that is going to cook this meal for us. Introducing my wife, the bacon grease goddess. Hey guys, let's get started on this delicious fish taco recipe. So check out this beautiful fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up on both sides with salt, pepper, paprika, and cayenne. We've got our fish seasoned up. Now we're gonna do flour, then dip it in beaten egg, and then we're gonna dip it in our breadcrumbs. And I do have my flour seasoned up with salt, pepper, and I have the eggs beaten up with salt and pepper as well. Let's go ahead and get this fish into the hot oil. I want it to look nice and golden brown. I actually did the fish two ways. The first way has got breadcrumbs, which will be nice and crunchy. I also decided to do a more traditional deep fried fish dipped in eggs and then flour. And look how nice and golden brown that is. Perfect. Nice. Looks crispy. Let's get started on the dressing for the slaw. We're going to start out with some honey, some olive oil. And this is a Brian Landry recipe, so you know it's gonna be good. And then we have some fresh lime juice, rice vinegar, some jalapeno sauce. You could also use a fresh jalapeno, and we have some salt. Just whisk that together. Now let's make the slaw, which is super crunchy sweet and a little spicy. Here I've got some washed angel hair cabbage, a chopped bell pepper, chopped green onions, chopped cilantro, a chopped apple. Now let's add over the dressing. Let's taste it and check for seasonings. Mmm. Next step is our pink chili mayonnaise. It's tangy and creamy and perfect on the fish tacos. To a blender, I'm gonna add in our mayonnaise, sour cream, three chipotles with their adobo sauce, and I will leave the recipe below, guys. 
but that this is what gives it that beautiful pink color. And then for flavor, some fresh lime juice. Okay guys, we are all set to assemble these delicious fish tacos. And we're gonna get started with our tortilla. So we have either regular flour tortilla or a corn tortilla. I like to warm them up on a skillet with a little bit of butter. You're gonna take your tortilla and you're gonna add your piece of fish, your slaw, And Brian has a delicious recipe that I will link below for mango salsa. Now this is one that Brant likes and it's right at the regular grocery store. So we'll put some of that mango salsa on. Look how good that looks. Then we're gonna get our sauce. So check this out, that pink crema sauce that we made, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna drizzle that sauce all over the fish taco. Look at how good that looks. Okay, let's try them. So that has loads of flavor. That is, I remember now why it's my favorite fish taco recipe. Mm -hmm. The combination from the mango salsa, the tangy slaw, to, and the pink chili mayonnaise make this out of this world. We uh, were riding around looking trying to locate the big schools of bait. They're a little hard to find this morning. There we go, as soon as I got down there. Okay, got some bait. Oh, wrong kind of bait. Uh, that's sand, uh, sand perch, squirrel fish, whatever you want to call it. That's not really what we're looking for. We've got these little sabiki rigs and we're trying to catch bait and it's pretty slow going right now. We're getting a few, but not a ton. There's a cigar, Minna. This is what I mean by bait fishing is going slow. We're getting one at a time. We need to get three or four at a time. <laughs> Great bait for just about anything out here, but quickly. There he is. Yeah, oh, he came off, it. That's the hard tail I wanted right there. There's hard, big hard tails, come on. There we go. There we go. Check out these big hardtails right here. Money amberjack bait, if we can get a few more. So those weren't down all the way to the bottom. They were kind of... Mine I caught up top. Got another one coming right here. Perfect bait. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what I'm talking about. That is money bait right here. Let's go see if we can find something big to eat these hardtails. Try to look how beautiful it is. But we were headed out and we found this little buoy ball floating on top of the water right there. There's fish all over it, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna throw this little glass, but uh... There he is, there's a fish. There we go, there we go. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, decent. We always stop on everything out here because of this reason right here. You never know when you're gonna find a school of fish. Look at the mahi all around the boat right here. They're not big ones, but they're still fun to catch. Check out what a beautiful fish right here, y'all. And we're only gonna keep a couple of these. They're not that big, but they are legal to keep. And uh, we're gonna make some tacos out of these guys. I will catch another one while you're just hanging out. Oh. I thought it was anyway. Oh, he's on it. Come on. Oh, they're on it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, he jumped. <laughs> oh, bad.
These guys are some of the prettiest fish out there. Check that out. That's that little buoy ball right there that those fish were around. Not a bad little stop on the way out. Let's tied on an X wrap right here, just in case we run into a bigger mahi. I just feel like we're going to in this uh, these conditions right here. There's a lot of small ones, and I just feel like we're going to run into a big one any minute. There's there's definitely some mahi on it. There he is. I got him. <laughs> this is that's crazy. Come here, a little better one here. All right, nice. Okay. Get in the boat. Check it out, guys. Nice mahi right here. Such a beautiful fish. This is legal size to keep. So he's gonna come home with us. It's crazy what we're finding these mahi on today. This this little bunch was on a little piece of river highest, and there they are. They're in front of us, probably uh, yeah, 40 yards. I'm gonna ease up to them. Oh, they're chasing it. I got him. <laughs> this is the tiniest one ever. This is a small guy. He's a throwbacker. There's just so many mahi. I'm going to try to shake him off. He's foul hooked. Let's see if the other ones will come up if we leave him in the water. Come on, dude. I don't need to. There we go. Got him. Keep trying to get to our spot that we're going to drop those hardtails on. But we're running over so many things out here. <laughs> so it's hard to... Hard not to stop when you're seeing fish. All right, y'all. We're going to try a hardtail now. Big old hardtail going out right here. There are so many barracudas here that I don't know if I'm going to get it past the barracudas. We'll see. We got a big hardtail out. While he's out, we're going to chum. Try to get these fish up to the boat right here. Make it easier on ourselves. Oh, what uh, that's a, is that a cuda or an amberjack? That's cudas. There is plenty of cudas down there. I always like to chum when I get to these wrecks because that brings these fish up to the top. There's some good fish coming up to the chum too, so we're gonna try to get a good fish. Let's see. Let's see what'll happen. Come on, don't. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. And they're definitely coming up. There he is. I got him. I got him. Yeah. Got him. Nice. Got a rainbow runner. Nice. He's running from the kudas. He's running from the kudas. I got to get him up. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's running. That's a nice one too. Heck. Oh my gosh. Barracuda just got him. Holy cow. Heck. Oh my God. Barracuda just got him. Holy cow. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. I was getting in there. Holy cow. Guys, look at these kudas behind the boat. That is insane, dude. Oh my gosh. I had a rainbow runner. All right, I gotta catch these kudos. There goes my sashimi. That's a rainbow runner. Great tasting fish, really cool fish. And he just got barracuda All right, hard tail. Oh! Oh, come on. Their kudos are getting fired up. Oh. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I don't know if the hook's in him or not, though. Yep, I got him. There he is. Barracuda on, baby. Woo, that's a good one. Oh, no, he's off. Dang. Oh, he's back on it. He's back on it. He's got it now. There he is. We're on. Oh, he's, oh, we got some air. Oh, he's, oh, we got some air. 
Holy cow, they are so fast. He was out there and now he's like under the boat, two seconds later. Cool. Beautiful, oh, that is cool. Beautiful Cuda right here. Uh, uh, nice fish right there. That was such a cool eat. <laughs> All right, big hardtail, let's go. All right, we're going another hardtail down deep to try, try for an AJ again. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. God. Oh, come on, come on, oh, got him. Oh, he's off. Daggum it. Hold on. Tech, come back and get it, come back and get it. Come back and get it. There's a fish, there's a fish. That might be a big AJ. Good gracious. Huh? I, I'm on, I'm on with an amberjack. I'm on with an AJ. Come on, come on, get him up. That's okay. Ah, I got a big old AJ on. Ah. Oh God, I don't, yeah, he is. He is a keeper. Ah. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. He's a definite keeper, but I just got to get him up. Uh, uh, he is kicking my butt, dude. Uh, come on. I got him coming now. Uh, oh, no. Oh, a shark just got him. He got sharked. Unbelievable, dude. He got sharked. He got sharked. I got sharked. Unreal. You gotta be kidding me, man. He came off my amberjack, got sharked. <sighs> that is so frustrating. Nothing you can do. Another hardtail going down right here. No sharks, please. Good gracious. These fish are not far under the boat. I'm almost wondering if I could chum them up. Brian's on. Brian's on. Oh, you got an AJ? Did he get sharked? Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got him. There we go. That's him. That's the one we want right there. Okay, just kidding. He ain't a small one. He's coming up. There's a shark after him. He's coming up. Oh, come on. Oh. Shark ate him immediately. Unbelievable. I don't know what to do. All our AJs are getting sharked. Here it goes. Oh, he's, he's not taking it. He ain't taking it. Don't, now he's got it. You get him, get him, Brian. Get him, start cranking, start cranking. There you go, start cranking. Oh, he, oh he's a little guy. Yeah. Doesn't mean the sharks don't like him. <laughs> oh, you got a big old mangrove. Check it out, get him up here. That's a nice mangrove snapper. That's good Heck yeah. Check out that mangrove right there, y'all. That was on a live cigar meta on 80 pound test. That was on our amberjack rod. Definitely a keeper. <clears throat> All right, y'all, let's get some of our fish cleaned up right here. I bet off camera, we lost another seven or eight fish to sharks. It was just awful. Hey, we've got half of a rainbow runner right here. I'm not gonna waste this guy because rainbow <laughs> runners are excellent. <laughs> And he has bled out really well, so it's going to be tough to clean because he's...
not a lot of meat, but we'll get some. That's okay. I'll take it. So folks, if you're clean, when you're cleaning fish and you have a lot of fish to clean and you just want a knife that works phenomenal, that doesn't break the bank, that's cheap, I would go with this Dexter Russell right here. I like the seven inch or the eight inch. My favorite knife to use that's not like an electric knife or a super expensive knife. If I'm just buying something cheap, it's a Dexter Russell. I will link this knife in the description if you want to pick one up. It's not expensive and it is well worth it in my opinion. We are back at the house. Now that was a crazy adventure filled with lots of action and lots of shark attacks and barracuda attacks. So it was uh, really cool. But what we're gonna do today in the kitchen is make one of our favorite fish dishes that I don't believe I've ever made on this channel. We've got our mahi-mahi right here. And this is going to be a pan seared fish with ginger and soy and it goes really well with mahi mahi first thing we're going to do is just some lemon juice on both sides of the fish just to get it covered next we're going to go in with some cayenne you know i've made a lot of fish on my channel we've done it a lot of different ways Melanie really helps me out in the kitchen. That's my wife. She does a great job cooking. The next thing we're going to do is the ginger. And I am getting a lot better. Yes, you are. You're doing very well. And that is Melanie behind the camera, y'all. Shoot her a big thumbs up. Hey, guys. We're going to do uh, some salt and pepper. For the next step in our hot skillet right here, we're going to add butter and some olive oil. And we're gonna get our onions right here sauteed. Now this is a really easy recipe if you just want a different flavor than your normal fried fish. So now that our onions right here are tender, we're going to take them out of the pan, set them aside, and we're gonna serve these with the fish. And I absolutely love mahi-mahi. Okay. So now we are going to take soy sauce, add to the skillet, <clears throat> as well as some rice vinegar and honey. Now we're going to let this fish cook in the sauce for another minute. The fish is all done. We're going to plate this up right here. And I'm going to drizzle some of this sauce over the fish, just like this. And that, my friends, is the mahi-mahi. It's such a beautiful day that I just had to come outside and eat lunch. I wanna give this mahi a taste now. So I am a big fan of the sweet flavors of the rice vinegar and the honey combined with the soy sauce. That's a flavor combination that we eat a lot in our house with other stuff as well. And so that's a, uh, I'm a big fan of it. And it makes this mahi absolutely delicious. And guys, there are a thousand ways to do fish. This is just one way that we have found is quick and easy when you want something different and it doesn't get much better than fresh mahi. That trolling motor is going to anchor this boat on this spot. Super cool tool to have out here when you're offshore fishing. First thing I'm going to do here is take one of these cigar, live cigar minnows and I'm going to drop it down like 40 or 50 feet. Got a chance of a cobia coming up, a African pompano, something like that, something cool like that. So we, we definitely don't want to send it all the way to the bottom first. We just want to kind of send it down right under the boat and see what happens. So I just put it in the rod holder right there. Oh, oh my gosh, we're already on. We're already on. Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't take me two seconds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was kind of cool. That took a total of uh, like 10 seconds. <laughs> Sonar, yeah. 
Uh, well, he's coming on up. Maybe some other fish will come up with him. Oh, well, I could, should be able to see it. Yep, look at there, Brian. <sighs> Let me get some fish grippers. Check that out. And these fish you cannot keep right now in the state of Florida, so we're gonna have to release this guy. Brian's gonna vent this fish right here. There we go. And this just releases the air from the fish so that he can go down properly. Cause when you bring a fish up quick like that, he gets full of air. Let this guy go and he's gonna go right down since we vented him. There he goes. Well, first fish today. If we get another snapper, I may, we may have to move it on. Sometimes that's all there is down there. And there's, there's definitely a lot of fish that we're seeing on the sonar, but a lot of them could be snapper. And that's okay, we'll just have to go to another spot. Stick it back in the rod holder and see what happens. It didn't take long the first time. I did not drop it quite, quite as deep this time though. We're already getting hit. Yep, there he is. That's gonna be the same thing. <laughs> That's going to be the same thing. Yep, this is just, there just must be tons of them down here. I think it's going to be in just another big snapper. Could be wrong. But nope, that's what it is. Oh gosh, guys. And that sure would be a great catch and cook. Look at that beautiful fish, but legally we got to throw him back. There's some help. Whoa! There's some healthy snappers down there, Brian. <laughs> we know where to come uh, opening day of snapper season. Took a little cigar minute here and I'm putting it on a steel leader now. And we're just going to kind of toss it out the back of the boat in case there's like a king mackerel or something like that come up in our chum line. We have been chumming to try to get these fish up, so I'm just going to leave it in the rod holder. He's been butterfly jigging. Let's see what he's got. That is a very odd fighting fish, Brian. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's not even fighting, is it? It's not hit, but he's trying to hit. Down. He's trying to sound on the waterline. Oh, now it's starting to fight like a maybe an AJ or something. Keeper, get him up here. Keeper trigger fish. Oh, I got mine. Man. <laughs> Look what a trigger fish right there. And it is trigger fish season, and that is a keeper. So Brian is eating good tonight. <laughs> Try to catch one for Brian. <laughs> We're doing a lot of chumming, getting these fish up in the back of the boat. And what that means is we're constantly taking handfuls of little cut baits and, and stuff from past trips and tossing them out, trying to get these fish to come up in a feeding frenzy. We're up here just looking for fish to show up in our chum line while I've got the bait in the chum line. You never know, you maybe see a big king swim by, blackfin tuna, something like that. So we're just kind of sitting here looking. Oh, 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 there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, 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 dang, oh, dang. Oh yeah, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely under the boat. <laughs> he, he might, he's probably already. <laughs> Am I on your line? Okay, that's okay. Yep, we're definitely tangled. This is a kind of a weird fighting fish here. Oh, it's a nice king, Brian. I gotta get him. Uh, no, let's. Uh, oh my gosh. The best thing to do, because yours, it, how far are you down? Okay. Um, we're kind of in a mess right here. Just keep it, keep it loose right now, and we'll get this fish in. 
I, there's not a lot we can do. Ooh. Hey, we're free. We're free. Oh, really? Yeah, we're free. Woohoohoohoo! Good fish. Well, since we're free and we're no longer tangled, we're going to let Brian gaff this fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just to make sure we catch him. <laughs> For y'all that are new to the channel, that's a running joke. Oh, whoo, that is. That's a pretty good one. Hey, little buddy. This is why I like catching them, that right there. These guys are drag screamers. There you go, Brian. Here's your chance. Right here. Got him. Hey, look what a gap shot. No meat ruined on that king. Love catching these guys. So much fun. <laughs> We're going to be eating some king. Another cigar minute going right here, folks. Let's see if we can get us another king or blackfin tuna or something like that. Got a good chum line going. Oh, whoa, whoa, we just got hammered again. We just got hammered again. Holy cow. Yeah, we're on another one. Oh, yeah, they're getting right out here now. <laughs> oh, that didn't take but like two seconds after throwing that bait out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He tossed that rod out. I mean, he that didn't take he long didn't at all. Uh-uh. Well, I hope he does. He's going under the boat. Oh, he's going under the boat. He's going on a good run here. It's funny how the kings just start biting. We've had baits out for an hour. <laughs> did, did not look like a king, but it is. There he is. Definite king. Uh, he's not as big, but still fun to catch. There we go. Two for two. <laughs> you are on a roll. <laughs> Another nice king right here. Guys, check him out. These are so much fun to catch. Just a hard fighting, super fast, aggressive fish. I'm going to show you a cool way to cook them up. It's crucial that you keep chumming when you're out here over these reefs and these wrecks. That keeps these fish fired up, keeps them near your boat. You'll be a lot more successful that way. We put out a chum bag a lot of times too and just leave the bag behind the boat so that it's constantly uh, producing chum. But these fresh bonita, nothing like it. Drop a piece of squid down and see if we can catch a monster trigger fish. It is trigger fish season. You're allowed one per person. And so I want to get my limit. <laughs> Oop, already getting bit. Come on. Come on. Yep, there he is. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. Oh. Brand thinks he's got a big trigger. I'm calling it giant trigger fish. I only dropped it halfway down. It's a big one. This, this is a big one. Come on. We got to get him up. This is dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. Come on. Yeah. Woo. Check out that trigger fish right there, y'all. That is going to be some fine eating. You're allowed one per person here in the state of Florida right now. This time we're going big live LY. We're taking him all the way to the bottom with an eight ounce weight. See if we can't hook something big. 
All right, we're down. I'm gonna leave it in the rod holder right there. See if it gets hit. Brian is also on over here. This guy's fighting like a big old bonita, but I don't know. We'll see here in a second. That's what it is. Just a big old edge bonita. Oh. Oh yeah, we're on. We're on. There he is. Come here. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, 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 uh. I gotta get him up. That's a good one there. Uh. Oh, that's a big grouper right here. I think. I don't know. Now he's he's continuing to fight after I got him out the bottom. So it may be a amberjack. Yeah, no kidding. Uh. No. Could be. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We'll find out in a second. Oh, look what a grouper. Oh, man. Dang. Look at that grouper right there, y'all. Big gag grouper. Not in season in the state of Florida. So we are going to have to release this guy, unfortunately. But such a cool catch. Beautiful fish right here. Man, what a nice catch. My mouth is watering. <laughs> this bad boy. So we can send him down. All right. See you, buddy. Come on. There we go. Those little ones don't usually survive. Those big ones can take it. There we go. I'm going to end the day for me on that. <laughs> That's a nice day. I'm going to take some of these fish home. We're going to cook them up. We're gonna clean this king mackerel up real quick and we're gonna do something with this king that I uh, haven't done in quite some time but is a, one thing that I really enjoy doing with king mackerel. And, and look guys, I know that kings have mercury, blah, blah, blah. I always get a lot of comments when I eat king, but I don't eat a lot of them. So I probably only eat king once or twice a year of that. So but i am going to show you a pretty unique way to clean them right here and a unique way to cook them that makes them pretty darn good look at all that row man that's good gracious that's crazy all right so we're going to take our serrated edge blade right here okay and we're going to cut the head off first and foremost all right once we've cut the head off we are going to stake this guy out first, okay? And that's a king stake right there, all right? And you've got your four little cubes right there from the king stake. You take the back side of it and you push up like this, boom, and look at that. The meat actually just pops right out of the cube like that. And you do it to all four sides just like this and that my friends is called a king ball all right and then you fry these king balls up and just pops right out 
and that is a beautiful piece of meat. And we're going to clean these trigger fish up as well, y'all. These trigger fish are one of my favorite fish. Now, their skin is like leather. And it's funny with these trigger fish, if you can get them going just a little bit, okay, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you can just kind of get them going on the outside, just cutting skin without nicking the meat, watch what you can do. You can take this skin. Look at that. And that skin comes right off just like that. And then you just fillet this off normal and you're good to go. Check out that, guys. That is just such a firm, really nice fillet right there that you get off that trigger fish. Let's take these fish home and cook them up. We back in the kitchen and Melanie's behind the camera. Y'all go ahead and shoot her a thumbs up Hi, real everyone. quick. And we've got our balls right here. We're going to season those up. And these are the king mackerel balls that you just saw me clean just a second ago. And we're going to deep fry them right here on the stove top. Got a little tartar sauce here we're going to make for them. But I do want to make sure and season these guys up real good first. And what are we seasoning them with? Salt, pepper, paprika, and cayenne. And a little bit of lemon juice. And we, they've been soaking in lemon juice, mm -hmm. actually. You know, a lot of people don't eat king mackerel. Um, I grew up eating king mackerel. If you eat it fresh, do it right. I think it's pretty tasty. So we're going to do these a couple different ways. We're going to do some with just flour, egg yolk, and flour. And then we will do some with flour, egg yolk, and breadcrumbs and see which one we like better. The oil is already heat, heat. I can feel it over there. It's hot. And guys, I'm not a chef. I am just having fun in the kitchen, enjoying, trying to get better, trying to learn. I'm nowhere near as good as my wife, Melanie. She has her own cooking channel, Bacon Grease Goddess, which I will link below. She uh, has a recipe that she filmed the other night. We're going to be uh, editing and posting that very, very soon. And so I would highly recommend checking out the Bacon Grease Goddess. Thank you, honey. All right, let's get these in the hot grease. Ooh, nice and crispy. Yes, sir. We're going to make our little tartar sauce here. Tartar sauce is awesome. You can't have fried fish without it. So these are sliced up pickles right here. These are sliced jalapenos. We're going to do some capers, a big spoonful of Dijon mustard, some salt, and pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. That looks excellent. Here's our little tartar sauce. And we're good there. Some zucchinis, baked zucchinis. But let's go uh, mackerel balls in the tartar sauce. Look at that. So that was the one with breadcrumbs. I'm going to try the, the flour. What's the winner? Tough to say. <laughs> <laughs> They're both really good. Okay. Locked and loaded, man. Ready to go. All right, let's do it. Assuming it starts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get, we got to make sure the boat starts. There are a few storms out there. Further out and not over the mass. Yeah, what is that? The saying, guys, red, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Kind of looks like a red sky. Come here, buddy. Get up here. Look at here, guys. Ah, that, my friends, is some good bait right there. Those are cigar minnows. We caught them on this little sabiki rig. I think a cigar minnow is the best bait for just anything out here that you can possibly have. Everything eats them. Where'd y'all go? Oh yeah, they're biting. They're biting it. Come on. The skulls are kind of scattered, but they're biting really well. Hey, don't come off, don't come off. Hey, cigar runner. That's a pretty sight right there. You can get bait early in the morning. That's a Christmas tree right there, guys. That's a cigar minnow Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, Brian, there we go. We're raking them in now. That's a jumbo right here. 
That's what I like to see. All right, Brian, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every sabiki filled up, guys. If you don't know what a sabiki is, they're these little bitty flies, and these fish just eat them like crazy, like this. Yeah, you're done, man. <laughs> You've already had a good day. I can use it. Successful start so far. But now we're headed that way. Very, very long ways. I can run this school of fish over right here, guys. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Hey, can you believe that? What? We literally are, we're going 50 miles an hour and we almost run this school of fish over. I slammed on brakes. Brian was playing with his GoPro and I threw one time and hooked up. That was pretty wild. Come here, come here. This is a fight right here. I think this is gonna be our, uh... oh, what a perfect bait size. <clears throat> Alby. What a, Woo. Brian's got the motor. Those 300 Yamahas fight hard. <laughs> False albacore, a lot of people call them bonita. Uh, beautiful fish though, man. You've seen me catch these a lot on the channel. They fight super hard. All right, keep going. That's a pile of them. Jim, that is a pile of, it's a blitz right here, guys. It's an Alby blitz. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, I'm on. I'm off. He, he got my lure. No, he didn't. Uh, let's see if I can reach him. Oh, yeah, I'm on him. I'm on, uh, yeah, I'm on already. There he is. Oh, son. Come on. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. These things are drag screamers, man. Listen to that. Come here. Bring him back here. I think these are just such a cool fish. I really do. They're so fast, aggressive. They do make great bait. I'm gonna flip one of these live boys out right here, guys. One of these juicy little live cigar minnows. We're gonna try out the new Saragossa 6000 right here. It's a pretty sweet looking reel. He's already getting bit. He's already getting bit right here. Oh, there he is. There he is. That did not take but like two seconds. Oh, that's a nice one too. Hey. That didn't take long, Brian. First bait out this morning. Nice. King? I don't know. That's a good fish though. Listen to this. That's a drag screamer. This is a bobo. Yes. Oh no, look at there guys. Nice king. That's a good one. Get him. That's a nice king right there. Ah. Brian, I think everybody's wanting to know if the those gaff skills are you been working on them? Oh yeah. <laughs> like the last there he time. is. The last nice time. king, man. The last time I gaffed that fish. Is that the mahi? Mahi for you. Whew, that was that was that was nerve wracking. Almost, almost. One more round. There he is. Here's this is the big end. Oh, only almost. All right, hold on. There you go. That's it. Get him. Get it. Oh, well, no. <laughs> there. Son of a, look, I should have him. You got him, though. You got him. He's good. <laughs> I ain't mad about that nice king mackerel to start the day. First bait in the water. And this is king water. If you know anything about kings, they like a little bit dirtier water. This is not necessarily blue water. Hey, man, I'll take I'll take smoker kings. That's fine. Let's get another bait going. Y'all look at watch the size of the shark look at that guys we're feeding this monster shark right out right out the back of the boat came right at that gopro too that's gonna be cool yeah i mean that is a giant let's see if he'll come back oh look that's another one that's another one look at him guys he's coming up to brian's gopro look at him right there oh my goodness wow oh Oh, you oh, almost ate your GoPro. Oh, oh yeah, they're coming. They're coming. 
There he is. That's a beast look right there. Oh, he just... That is a beast. Oh, yeah. He got... Oh, look. They're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. Oh, my Yeah. They're probably... Oh. oh look. Son, that one ain't scared. That one ain't scared. What is that? What is that? Look. What is that? Big fish. <clears throat> All right, buddy. Go do your job. Let's get another one out here. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. He's on. There he is. God, that's, they're everywhere. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Uh oh, that's a big one. That may be a big one. Oh yeah. It's a good fish here. I don't like to put a lot of pressure on kings. I like to go nice and easy with them. And you'll usually catch them if you do that. Light drag. These are such a fun fish to catch but we shall see. That was 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a big black fin tuna. Woo! He's coming now. Did he get eaten or something? He's just feel like dead. He feels like dead weight. Oh no, he's running now. Oh no, he's running now. That's a good one. Nice king. Oh yeah. Look at there. That was cool. That was a good shot. All right, Brian, you're up, man. Big fish right here, guys. We're gonna make some mackerel dip out of this dude. King mackerel dip coming up right here. Hold on, he's not quite ready. I didn't think so. <laughs> oh! The hook pulled! Oh my gosh! No, no, he cut through the leader, man. He cut smack dab through the leader. He chewed through the leader. He chewed through 45 pound test. Oh well. That's all good. <laughs> Dang! That's okay. He got me. That one got me. We're gonna get back on them though, man. This is a blast. It's like a sure enough big one. And have one. Oh, look, look. He came up to the boat and tried to eat him. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see that? He jumped completely out of the water. Holy smokes. That was insane. I hope I caught that on camera. I've seen that before, but it's, I've never caught it on camera. That was so sick. Oh yeah, you got a nice one, man. He ain't bad. Nope. This is crazy good fishing. Come here, buddy. Mine's across, going across the top right there. Woo! These guys just fight so hard, man. Awesome. I love this Saragosa, man. 6,000. This sucker has some really smooth drag. The best thing to do with those, these, or just take the baby gap to them. It's easier to control. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep one more. Come here, buddy. Let me get you on this side over here. Bring the baby gaff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Come here, buddy. All right. Yeah, my own fish. That's a good time right here, guys. <laughs> awesome it, i don't know if y'all saw that but that was probably the sickest strike that i've ever caught on my gopro 
Assuming that I caught it on the GoPro. I, that was so awesome. Yeah, we'll find out. Back will dip, baby. Ow. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. That was so sick. Look. Oh, he's just kind of he's, right? Yeah, he's in the chum line. Come on, come here. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Look at him, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Wow, that was vile. I'm, that's the best for me. That was, a, that was an athletic leap there. Oh, ah, it's every cast. It's every cast. Ah. It's crazy. Too much action out here, guys. Too much action. Oh, this one's got some weight to him, Brian, I think. Guys, we may have something a little different on here. Guys, this is acting just like a tuna. I don't know if it is. We're having to follow him. Right now, I've got the boat in gear, and he's staying down. So he's either A, a foul hooked, ki nice king, or it's a, it's a tuna, one of the two. That's my two guesses. Something just ate him, guys. We just got our tuna ate by a shark, 100%. Our tuna just got ate by a shark. You gotta be kidding me. We literally just got our tuna ate by a shark, dude. Unbelievable, man. He just popped off sucks man we had a big tuna i'm pretty certain and the when i i felt the fish dart and start running back to the boat and he got eaten in like one gulf gulp on the top water plug dude yeah, brian's been chunking a top water popper in that kit look at that thing right in the corner of his mouth that's a nice king man yep That's not a small king, Brian. Yep, yep. Big king on a top water plug. There he is. I got another one. Come here. I don't know what I got. Pretty good fish, whatever it is, Brian. This may be a, a giant bonita, though. What do we got here? Oh, son. He's definitely fast, I can tell you that. He's hauling butt around this boat. Big. No, it is a king. Good gracious. Look at that. He must be hooked perfectly. <laughs> I took off my leader to try to catch a tuna and I caught a king. <laughs> we'll see you later. I appreciate it. Released king. All right, we got the big bonita head going down. We've already had, literally right when we put it in the water, a giant came up to it and just didn't eat it. But hopefully, oh, whoa, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on. He, he ate it and dropped it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He ate it and dropped it. Yeah, it's, yeah look at this guys. Oh, he dropped it, he dropped it. Let's see if he'll pick it back up. Let's see if he'll come to the boat. We're on. We're on. He's got it. Yeah, there he is. There he is. We got him. I don't think this is a giant, but he, we definitely got him on. I don't think this is one of the giants, but it's all good. It's still pretty cool. That didn't take long, huh? We literally had that bait out, but a minute. I figured it because they, they were hungry. They it's definitely up. not the one we saw was 11 to 12 foot. Yeah, yeah. That's this yeah. is not him. There he is. See him? I can already see him down there. I don't know what kind it is. Woo! He did not like that, did he? Oh man! He wrapped himself up in the line. He's going nuts. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh, I thought he was about to jump, dude. 
I literally thought he was about to come up and jump. <sighs> I mean, he still ain't a bad one. He just ain't the one. The one we saw was giant. I mean, insane. <sighs> he was hungry to eat that whole big bait. All right, you're a caught fish. Look at the mahi underneath him. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab a thing. There's mahi underneath him. Literally came up with him playing. It was so crazy. Taking some chum right here and just tossing it over and seeing if we can get some fish up, kind of in a feeding frenzy behind the boat. It looks like uh, the current is not overly strong, and I'm loving this watercolor out here. We're going to put it out on top and hopefully uh, get one of these fish that's coming up in our chum line here. Big old king mackerel came up right behind the boat here in the chum. Let's see if he'll eat. He just came up and ate the chum. Dang, that was a, that was a nice fish right there. Let's just... Keep uh, keep it going. Hey, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on. Come grab him, come grab him. Here. here nice and just bit nice and smooth with him. That's a good fish right there. That did not take long, huh? And Brian got him a vermilion over there. Yeah, Have you caught a king mackerel before? No. Okay, so this may be a first right here. Got him, God, we got du doubled up out here. Doubled up out here. Look at them. They're jumping. They're jumping. They're going crazy over there. We need him for chum. That's a giant bonita. We'll take him. All right. Bring him over here. We'll grab him real quick. We'll take him all day for chum. All right. Let me... Uh... You want a net? Nope. I'm just going to one, two, three, go. Look at the size of that bonita right there. That is a giant. We're going to use him for chum, and Alex has got another one. So let's go ahead and start chumming these guys up. Now that was a tuna. Did you see him jump out there? Did you see the tuna jump? That was crazy. We have 10,000 bonitas behind the boat and like a couple kings and tuna. So weeding through these fish is easier said than done. I don't want to catch a bonita, but... I'd like, to, I'd like to try to catch a king or a tuna, but you never know. There's tons of bonitas out here right now, so there's a chance that's what's gonna happen. Oh, he's getting, he's getting nervous. He's get, oh, he's on, I'm already on. I'm on too. Oh man, unbelievable. Guys, there's maybe too many bonita out here. Unreal. It's crazy town. Another big old bobo. Woo! Come here, dude. These ed edge bonitas are a different breed. Uh, look at the size of these bonita that we're catching out here. Y'all check out what Alex just caught here. That is, I believe, a Spanish hogfish. Look how beautiful that fish is right there. Great job, dude. I'm just gonna grab it like this. Like the, like the LSU Cap 2 National Champions Baseball. That's right. I'm not a, I'm not a Florida Gators fan, so I was pulling for L LSU all day. That is the biggest king that I have seen in a long, let me get a bait, gotta get a bait. Holy cow. Ugh. Oh my gosh, guys, absolute giant right here. Come on, come on. Where are you at? This is an app. This is the biggest king mac. Maybe my PB, guys. The absolute tank right here. Come on. Oh, 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 oh! oh I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. There he is. Got him. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. He may strip us because he's like a 50 pounder, 
Let's let's go follow him. Let's go follow him. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry. Not with a trolling motor. We need to follow him with a big motor, but we can keep it down. All right, just fit, go to my line. Go to the right. Go to the right. I'm going to try to be easy with him, but, I mean, he's giant. That was awesome. You said yo-yoing for him. I know. The bait away from the Whoo! That was cool. That was cool. I think it's him. I don't know. I, I saw it was a king, but I don't know if it was the one that was in our chum line prior that was massive. If it's the one that I saw before come up in our chum line, then it's the biggest king we've ever caught on this boat. I've got him on a jigging rod. I, this wasn't even a king rod, but I'll take it, whatever. Do we have one of those boats? All right, he's ready to gaff, whoever wants to gaff him. He's pretty big. I do. I don't ever. I don't think we've caught one this big on the boat. All right, come gaff him. Come gaff him. Oh, get him now! 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 You got him. Wow, Brian, that was a heck of a gaff shot. Wow, look at the head on that. Can you see him in the screen, Brian? Oh yeah. Okay, I got good. All that fish in the screen. All right, good. Man. Woo! Right there, guys. Wow. That is an absolute mammoth. Ooh. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. I used to fish mackerel tournaments when I was a kid in the 90s, and I have not caught a king that big since we used to fish mackerel tournaments. So it's really cool to put a put a big in in the boat like that. <laughs> and the fact that we saw him in the chum line, then we're able to feed him a bait makes it even cooler. I just enjoy fishing this way where I can see the fish out the back of the boat and uh, just pick pick out the one you want. That to me is fun. I don't what I don't. Oh, I don't want the shark. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Come on, fish. Just saw another big king in the chum line right here. He tried to eat Alex's popper. <laughs> All right, go down further with that cigar, man, and see if you get hit. There you go. Man, where are the jacks, Brian? I don't know. You sure we're at the right spot? <laughs> oh, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's on, he's on. Oh, man, another good one, I think. Oh, you're getting hit, you're getting hit. Start reeling, start reeling, start reeling. There you go. Oh man, he, I think he came, no he didn't. He's just coming back to the boat. Dang, that was cool. It's a good fish here. Another, another smoker. Good gracious. Oh, is that an Almaco? Oh, that was an Almaco, I believe. Yeah, that was an Dang, that was a keeper there. All right, Brian, what you got? I think it's a ki nice king. Another one. He's not as big as the first one, but he's a decent sized fish. Ooh. I hope this shark doesn't try to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> like 200 pounds. <laughs> He's not small. I don't know. He's a pretty big one. Oh, there he is right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. Another, another nice one. Golly. Look what a fish.
There we go. Nice job, Brian. Two for two. I'm, I'm done. I'm worn out. Not quite as big as the last one, but still nice fish. We're making our last stop of the day right here. We just pulled up on a little reef. I've got a glass minnow jig, light tackle. Watch this. I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to hook up probably within like 20 seconds. Let's see. There he is. There he is. Got him. Got him on the jig. Oh, that's a big one. That's a decent fish right here. Woo! That's a good snapper there. Ah. There we go. And it is snapper season here in Pensacola, Florida, so we can keep these guys. Check it out, not a bad snapper to catch on 20 pound test in a glass minute jig. This will be my last fish of the day. We're gonna take it in, probably cook some of this mackerel up. All right, y'all, we're gonna go clean up some fish. It's been a fun day. We're having a big 4th of July party at Beach Bum Outdoors our outdoor store we're having a big sale and everything and so i am going to make a dip out of this guy i'm also giving the rest away because there's going to be a lot of leftover meat and uh, i'm going to bring it up to the uh, sale and we're going to chow down on this dip these dexter russell knives are my favorite knife non-electric knife to use it just kind of cuts right through the fish they're super sharp inexpensive uh, they're easy to sharpen i'm a big fan of them and i am not sponsored by dexter russell i just have always used their knives even when i was like charter fishing look at that man this is a, gonna be a lot of a lot of meat. Whew, man. I wish this was a wahoo. That is giant. Look at the size of the row in this chick. Look at that. That is all row right there. I kind of want to try it. Dude, look at the size of this fillet. <laughs> that is massive. <laughs> oh, man. All right, folks, we are back at the house and we are about to cook a big bowl of this mackerel and we are going to make a dip out of it that we can take to our big 4th of July party that we're having at Beach Bum Outdoors and let everybody taste this awesome mackerel dip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this mackerel first and we don't, uh, we, t we really don't eat a lot of keen mackerel uh, at our house, but when we do, we, uh, we usually like to make a dip out of it because the uh, oily consistency of the, of the mackerel meat makes an awesome flavor dip. So we're gonna go just some salt, some pepper, paprika and cayenne. I tell you, these are one of my favorite fish to catch just for so many reasons, but the main reason is, is this is how I learned to saltwater fish was mackerel fishing when I was a kid with my dad and my uncles who fished tournament king mackerel rodeos and they used to drag me along with them. Let's get them in this pan right here. We'll get some olive oil down. This is the secret ingredient right here. And this is 
liquid smoke and it's gonna since we aren't going to take the time to smoke this fish which I do highly recommend you can also bake it and then just throw a few dashes of liquid smoke on each fillet to give it that nice smoky flavor and then we're gonna set it in the oven <sighs> Now for the fun part, and that's putting our ingredients together. We're gonna to start with a block of cream cheese. So I made this recipe earlier this year with Spanish mackerel. And of course, my wife, Melanie, who is an amazing cook, has tweaked this recipe a little bit. I will go over that with you here in just a second. But let's make sure and get our cream cheese nice and stirred up first. Now we're gonna add in our lemon juice and lime juice, our mayonnaise. And I guess everybody at Beach Bum Outdoors We'll be trying this fish dip, except for Bama Beach Bum, because he does not like mayonnaise. Let's get our ingredients in there. Grated Parmesan cheese. Finely diced pickled banana peppers, and this is where Melanie kind of changed the recipe. So the original recipe called for raw banana peppers and raw jalapenos but we decided to do pickled and we think that is going to be a lot better. Here are the finely diced jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos as well. Finely diced green onion, regular onion, some cilantro. Look at there. We're gonna get our fish in a big bowl and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a little bit. Look at that. We did forget one special ingredient that I'm gonna add right now and that is some tiger sauce. Puts it over the top here. And then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it chill so overnight so that we can take it tomorrow to our big sale. We've already had a big crowd here this morning. We have a, uh, check it out, we've got a barbecue truck here today, food truck in the parking lot. I'm just gonna take you guys through the day with us. I am gonna now try the mackerel dip for the first time and then I'm gonna take it and let every, all the employees try it, so. Got it with a wheat thin. Mmm. Pretty flavorful. Got to taste test our king mackerel dip. Ooh. Oh, man. Just, just eight. All right. Just one, one bite. All right. Well. That's good. delicious. Good. Seriously. All right. That's seriously good. Uh, it's not bad, is it? Okay. <laughs> you like, uh, you like fish? Yes. All right. You like wheat thins? Yes. All right. Let's go. Okay. Test the mackerel dip. She's so much more willing than me. You are yeah, a you willing participant. I like it. That's ten, really good. Ten out of ten. Are you lying for the no. camera? Ten out of ten. That's exactly what I like. I like that. Everything I like in one. So Emily tried it and like despised it. Couldn't stand it. Did you make it? Mm -hmm. Everybody else liked it. <laughs> That's mean. I like these wheat thins. That's really why I'm doing it. The wheat thin was good too. Will you please tell me what's in this besides just, fish? Just, just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Chives, celery. She doesn't like fish. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Always eating something. All, right. or uh -huh. just, yeah, just all, all, about spending all I want money. you to do is try my fish dip. Okay. Oh, you look. You no, no, no. Really, okay. Yeah, oh, wait, you're making I'm serious. No, no, it's it's really good. I'm serious. Good. You're like holding it. Can I look in it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay. strong, isn't it? it? Smells good. Okay. I'm super scared. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you're gonna like it. It's good. What kind of fish is it? It's king. 
It's amazing. Can you knuckle it? Boom! I love it. Boom! Okay. Wow. Chris, you want to try it? Fish dip? <laughs> mackerel dip. It's King super mackerel. Good. Please don't drop that on my head. <laughs> <laughs> like right over my head. That's good. That is amazing. Oh <laughs> Courtney, we got some mackerel and Courtney. Yes, indeed. Sorry, Courtney. What about Annalise? She's making a great face. See if she wants some. You want to try some? fish dip, Annalise? <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> Wow. All right. Hit miss, yeah. All right, two more. Y'all gotta try ah. the knuckles up. Give it a yes or no. Okay. Scott, Just give it a shot. You like it? All right, good deal. We're good. Not bad. Very good. Absolutely. Not bad. Thank you. Not bad. If you actually, hit. you really like it? That's very good. Absolutely. She doesn't like it as Emily. Apparently I'm the only one. But she doesn't eat fish at all. Yeah. Six months ago, it was $1.50 a bag, and I just paid two twenty-five dollars a bag six months later. Crazy town. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another beautiful day right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. A very foggy day. Check out this fog, folks. We're back on the Cobia, but check this out. This is something different. Today, we have a trolling motor on the Cobia, and this is going to allow us to anchor in one spot. Now, this is a Rodan. Check out how long the shaft is on that trolling motor. If you've kept up with our offshore videos, you know that we either don't have an anchor or anchoring can be very difficult out there. This is hopefully gonna be a lifesaver if Brian hooked it up right, so. <laughs> Well, yeah, he's an electrical engineer, so I'm. But I'm super excited to take this out and try it out today. Anchor up on some spots, do some chumming, so it's gonna be awesome. Whoo, it's foggy this morning. It's gonna be uh, interesting running across that bay. Days like today where you need really good electronics because uh, the visibility is so bad. I'm sorta used to it from running charters for so many years. I've ran through this a ton of times, but really good electronics absolutely help. All right, folks, we taking off and we will catch up with you here in about 25 miles or however far we make it. <sighs> Brian is on lookout patrol up front looking for buoys and other boats and I'm watching the radar very very closely right here as well as watching our lines from where we have ridden in the past to give us a really good idea as to where we can head and uh, it's crazy it's nuts when it's like this there's absolutely no visibility well, the fog has cleared. Check it out. It's kind of nice out here now. We are going to deploy the Rodan. 96 inch shaft on this guy. There we go. It's the world's longest trolling motor. Yeah, there we go. Now, all we do is press a button on the remote and it anchors the boat perfectly. First thing I like to do once we're anchored on a spot like we are with the trolling motor is I like to cut little pieces of bait up like this, like chum, and I just like to flip it over. And what this does is it kind of gets these fish into a little bit of a feeding frenzy. And now we can start fishing. Now that we have the chum going down, I've put a little piece of chum right here and I'm gonna drop it down kind of with the fish so these fish right now should be coming off the bottom I'm gonna let my little piece of chum go down with it and they should come up I have no weight on all I have is a hook free lined these fish should come off the bottom and hammer it and I just watch my line right here when it gets down about 20 or 30 feet. Oh, we're on. He just, big amberjack just came up. Oh my gosh, big amberjack down there, Brian. Holy cow. I thought I was on, I'm not. Oh, there's a bite. First bite of the day right here. Oh, there he is, it's on. We got him. Oh man, 
Dang, that's a big fish, dude. He's taking me to the structure, too. That's a big fish. He's too big to catch, probably. All right, get him up, get him up. I gotta turn him. Uh, oh, he's coming a little bit now. Come on. First fish of the day. <laughs> nope. Uh uh. Decent first fish. There it is, right there. Gonna be a big snapper. I, I bet, but that's okay. There it is. I see color. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is a shame that we have to release this bad boy right here. Check out that first bait down monster snapper. We're going to vent him real quick. Now the purpose of this is to release the air from his air bladder so that he can easily go back down. Woo! Boom, just like that. This is our big vermilion spot, scamp, got a chance at a grouper, really anything down there. And so I'm gonna drop a big piece of squid and just see if we can put a little bit of food in the box. All right, we are going down. And I suspect that we will get bit as soon as we get to the bottom. Look at this, guys. I'm getting hit as soon as I get down there. Oh my gosh, there's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a good one wait what's oh he came off dang it dude no he didn't no he didn't something definitely grabbed him man i thought i got sharked guys but now i'm not so sure something happened I, huh yeah i think he is golly oh i've got two fish on that's the problem Guys, check this out. Check this out, folks. I told you this was our big vermilion spot. We have been here a total of one drop. Me and Brian both got these first drop. Let's get back down here, see if we can catch a grouper. Going back down, double squid rig right here. It was a successful first drop. This is a good spot just to stop, 20 minutes, get some food in the, uh, in the box. Yep. I got hit the second I'm getting down there. Nothing big. Oh, there it is. There's a decent bite. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. Decent fish. Come on, buddy. I don't know what I got. I was not all the way on the bottom then. I only dropped it halfway down. What is it? Is it? That's a giant, dude. Look at this. Halfway down, Brian. Drop number two. I thought our first two were big, but check out our second two. I only dropped mine halfway down. These guys must just be in a feeding frenzy down there coming off the bottom. Those are some tanks. Let's get back down there. This is a, a pretty incredible vermilion bite. Some absolute tanks. I'm gonna do the same thing this time where I'm only gonna drop it three quarters of the way down. Oop, 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 come on. Uh, yep, yeah, I got him, there he is. Not a bad one there. Yeah, I feel the same way. That was as soon as it got down there once again, y'all. Come on, buddy, another real nice one. Check this one out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Me and Brian have done three drops in three big vermilion each. Solid box of vermilion right there, folks. And we're just kind of done catching them. We're gonna try something else to end the day. The last thing that we're gonna do here, we, uh, we moved it in a little closer. I'm gonna take a little piece of squid and I've got a little circle hook. This is a three alt circle hook right here. I'm probably only going to drop it like 30 feet down. I'm going to try to catch a trigger fish. It is trigger fish season, and trigger fish are great to eat. We're only in about 90 foot of water. I'm getting hit already. It didn't even make it down. Oh, oh he's off. Oh, there he is. Got him. Okay. There's a trigger. There's a trigger. There's a trigger. Oh, this one may be a keeper. 
That's a trigger. I think I got a keeper too. Oh yeah, nice fish. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, we may need the net, Brian. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I think that's a keeper. Oh, we got us a keeper. Check it out, folks. We got a trigger fish. This is the target species. We're allowed one per person here in the state of Florida. This is a keeper. He's going home, and this may be my catch and cook because these fish right here are delicious. Such a cool fish to catch. They love squid, light line. Let's put him in the box. That was a successful trip. We quick trip out here this morning. We've got plenty of fish to take back and eat, and that is what we're gonna do right now. We'll take that trigger fish home. We're gonna cook him up. Folks, we're back at the house. We're about to cook up this trigger fish. Now, this trigger fish is a super firm meat. I wanna show you how I clean it real quick. I like to get them started like this down the side and just hit the, uh, hit the skin, don't nick the meat. And then what you can do, cut them across like this, grab the skin, and just yank it off. Easy peasy. And, uh, and then from there, you just kind of trace around it like a normal fish. And trigger fish is, in my opinion, a fantastic fish to eat. And I can't believe I've never done a catch and cook with one on my channel. That's it guys, that's what you're left with. A fine filet right there. So as you can see, this is a very unique fish. And before I go any further, I do have to add that no, we do not have a cover on the kitchen light switch yet. I've probably gotten that comment a hundred times and there is a reason we are under construction in here. We're getting renovated. We're actually putting a brand new cabinet right here. And so we've got to keep the light switch off until the cabinet is it's being built right now. And so we're kind of waiting on the contractors. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing with this fish. We're just going to pan fry it, season it up with some salt, pepper, cayenne, paprika, but then we're gonna make a sauce for it, and that sauce is what makes it. All right, let's take the fish, and we're gonna put it seasoned side down right here. And then we are gonna season the top. And no, I did not cut out the rib cage, because on a trigger fish, you can get some really good meat on the top side of that rib cage. So now that the fish is done, we're gonna make this super simple sauce, okay? I've got some mayo and some Dijon mustard in a bowl over here. We've got some chicken broth that's warming up on the stove. And all we're gonna do is take the chicken broth, pour it over the mayo and Dijon mustard and whisk it until it is a thinner consistency and that's what we're going to pour over the fish. And you can obviously season this to taste. I already seasoned the chicken broth. Such a simple sauce, but absolutely delicious. You can put as much as you want. I already know what it tastes like, so I like a lot of it. Now that gives it some flavor. And if y'all been watching my catch and cooks, you know that I'm on a flavor kick with all these fish, all right? And so I've, I've done fish a ton of different ways on this channel, and I've found that I prefer it best, well seasoned or with a sauce like this or both. And so comment below, how do you like it? This, uh, man, if you haven't tried trigger fish, you, you absolutely need to because it's such a firm meat and <clears throat> man, is it delicious. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up everything I'm involved with linked in my description below. You know by now we have opened an outdoor store in Gulf Shores, Alabama. It's an outdoor store slash fulfillment center for all the businesses that we're creating in the future. We have a big online store as well as a retail location. So we're gonna be doing a lot of meet and greets there, throwing parties, throwing events. In order to get you guys more involved, in order to have a place for our subscribers to come out and hang out with us and that kind of stuff. So uh, just stay tuned to our team channel 
which is linked below. We'll be posting a lot of stuff on it as well as on this channel and Bama Beach Bum and Bearded Brad, Cameraman Ron as well. So other than that, folks, we will catch you next time.